Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm here with another furniture flip. Uh, this time it is a, an old style uh, telephone table. And I picked this up off of uh, Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's in really good shape and I think I'm just gonna give it a light sanding uh, maybe fix the back is a little bit loose. So I'll put some glue on that and Then I will probably paint it and I'm gonna find some new fabric for the seat uh, so if you're interested then stick around and uh, Hang out with me Let's get started So I'm starting by removing the seat cushion uh, and then I'm going to take off the back, the backrest. And I also end up taking all the legs off. Uh, it's just going to make it a little bit easier for cleaning and sanding. And I may also keep them off when I'm going to paint. Everything came apart really easily as nothing was uh, glued together. They was just held together with some bolts. There's a really big piece of wood missing. Uh, from this spot that I'm going to try and fix. I made sure to label all the legs so that I can put them back in the right spots when I'm done. If you don't, then sometimes I've found that they don't quite fit right if they're not in the right spot. I took the backrest off because all the glue on the slats had uh, come off and they were really loose so I, they need to be re-glued. Now I'm just going to give the whole thing a good wash down with some simple green. I will also rinse it as well. Okay, now that it's all cleaned up, I'm going to use some quick wood to mold uh, the skirt, the ends of the skirt where the pieces have come off. Quick wood is an epoxy putty. You just mix the two parts together and it will activate. And uh, when you're form it into the shape that you want um, then you can sand it after and it hopefully will uh, look like it like the pieces were always there
And now I'm just going to give everything uh, a sanding. Uh, I'm not going to go too crazy with sanding because I'm going to paint. So you just want to rough up the surface as much as you can um, so that the paint will adhere better. At one point inside this cubby there was a drawer. Uh, I'm just going to remove the drawer slides since I'm not going to be putting in a new drawer. Uh, I thought about trying to build one um, but I think it's just out of my expertise range at this moment. So I'm not really worried about bleed through from the wood into the paint because I'm using a darker color. So I could have skipped the primer step and just gone straight to paint, but I also like to have an even color underneath when I go to put the paint on. I just find that I use less of the paint. Uh, since it's already has one or two coats of primer, if that makes sense. I decided to use my Wagner sprayer this time uh, for this project just because I haven't used it in a while and I kind of wanted to get this one done a bit faster than painting. Painting takes a little bit longer. Uh, also, I feel like I can cover all the areas a little better. Uh, and I don't have to wor really worry too much about dripping or getting too much paint in one area. So I'm going with Dixie Bell Chalk Mineral Paint in the color Colored Greens and I am going to give everything a light sanding before I start just to make sure that I have a smooth surface to start with. I had just a little bit of trouble at first with my paint. Uh, from the sprayer it was super blotchy and stuff and spitting all over So I fixed that problem. I figured out that I just needed to uh, Thin out my paint a little bit more and then it sprayed perfectly I ended up doing about three coats of paint uh, and I did like a light sanding in between each coat just to keep it smooth. And 
when I lifted up this one post I noticed that <laughs> I should have flipped over the drop the plastic drop cloth since it had primer on it from when I primed so of course the primer stuck to the paint so I just sanded that off and resprayed it flipped the plastic over and all was good So I had to make a trip to Home Depot to get some new bolts uh, for the backrest as there were, when I took it all apart, there were a couple of bolts missing. So uh, I found some that worked and I was able to use them to put the backrest on and I glued this, the backrest slats in place so it's nice and sturdy and not going anywhere now. I wiped off all the excess glue and then I moved on to my third and final coat. I did do a little bit of touch-ups after, uh, but this is my third coat now. And now it's time to take apart the cushion. Uh, I just removed all the staples and I found there were two pieces of fabric on this seat. So I took both covers off. I'm not an expert upholsterer or whatever it's called, but I have recovered a few things. Um, so it's pretty straightforward you basically just try and make it straight and staple it on it took me a little while to get all the staples out so I'll just speed up the video for you So at first I had put the stripes horizontally on the cushion and luckily I didn't use too many staples because when I put it on the bench uh, I sent a picture to my mom and she thought that it might look better if the stripes were going vertically instead of horizontal and uh, she was absolutely right. 
So I took it off and turned it around and redid it so that the, all the stripes were going vertically on the cushion. So thank you, Mom. After two coats of a water base sealer, I did uh, some wet sanding just in the areas that I felt were going to be touched more than other areas so that the armrest would be nice and smooth and the top of the shelf. I used a 400 grit wet sanding paper. After wiping it all down, I did one more light coat of sealer just as a little extra added protection on the air armrest and the areas that I wet sanded. I found these little feet at Home Depot that I could hammer into the bottoms since I took the old ones off and they were kind of in a bit of a rough shape so uh, I thought some new ones would would be nicer. I added just a touch of gold gilding wax to the uh, leaf accents on all the legs and here it is all finished. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified of the next time I upload a video.